Hey guys, hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I posted anything and I'm sorry about that, but I'm back and I have some exciting news to share with you. Um, so as many of you know, over the past few years, I have done a lot of work in Namibia. Uh, it's a country I absolutely love, very dynamic, very peaceful, very tranquil, but it has a very mired history. Um, so over the last few years, uh, BBC Travel has given me a platform to share my work. And so I'm really grateful to them and I received notification from the Society of American Travel Writers uh, a couple of weeks ago telling me that I have won an award for best video in travel journalism. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I received an honorable mention and I wanted to share that video with you guys. So at the bottom of the TV, computer, whatever you're watching this on, um, you'll see a link to the full video. Um, and after this short clip of me, I'll show you a few clips of the video um, that I put together myself. Uh, the video is really interesting. It showcases a lot of um, beautiful dresses uh, from the Herrera women of Namibia. The piece is called The Africans Who Wear Victorian Petticoats. Um, and it will give you a little bit of history about the region that is now called the country of Namibia. It used to be German Southwest Africa. Um, and the women today actually wear these really wonderful, elaborate dresses that were incorporated from the style from the Victorian era, actually incorporated from their German oppressors. So it's really fascinating how they have sort of uh, internalized this and have represented themselves as wearing these beautiful dresses originally from their oppressors. Sort of courage, identity, beauty, love, and really overcoming obstacles that I think we can all really use right now. I know a lot of us aren't traveling, um, and it's been a little bit difficult for the most, of, for the entire world over the last several months. So hopefully this will give you a bit of inspiration. And uh, thank you again for following. Um, as you can see, I am not in Namibia at the moment. I am in my home base in Canada, but I do hope to get back out there in the field soon. So thanks to all of you for following and stay tuned for more. Here we go. The dress to us mean an identity. It means a sense of belonging. We have inherited it, yes, that is true for people who have been oppressing us. But it has become now hero dress and it's no longer being seen as Victorian dress. When you look at our dress today, it's actually, uh, we copied it from the missionaries' wives, 19th century. We as heroes, we have taken this dress and we have modified it to our customs. It's a way of also taking the history from generation to, to generation. Mm. So that is somehow giving us that sense of victory that uh, despite the extermination order, we survived the genocide. We, we emerged as a strong community For us, this is something that we took and we made it ours. That's why we can proudly wear it. 